So all we need to do to find the parallel component of F graph is multiply the magnitude of F graph by the cosine of this angle, right? Because this is a right triangle, your projection line goes at a right angle. And if we happen to want this component, the other component of the gravitational force, we can multiply by the sine of this angle. So we can calculate this provided we know this angle. So the angle we want is right here. How can we find this angle? Well, I'm not going to give you specific instructions for finding this angle. I'm simply going to tell you that uh, one thing we can do that I kind of indicated here Uh, this is an isosceles triangle from here to here to here to here because this side has length equal to the length of the rod and this side <coughs> has length equal to the length of the rod. 45 degrees from here to here. So you can figure out this angle here, which is the same as this angle here, but just simple geometry and you want to think through the geometry of it. But you can easily figure out this angle, which allows you to easily figure out this angle. Once you've figured out this angle, uh, it's easy to figure out the projection of your gravitational force onto delta S. Okay? Nothing to it. So, that's the easiest way to do it. There are other ways. You can go all kinds of roundabout ways to get that angle. But the fact that you have an isosceles triangle means that this altitude here projects, uh, uh, divides the triangle into congruent triangles, okay? A pair of congruent triangles. Now, how do you get the uh, magnitude of delta S? That's maybe even uh, you know, a little more uh, troublesome. So, let me do that in a different color. Um, we know that this angle is 45 degrees. So we can solve this triangle. We know the length of this side, it's the length of the rod. That would be 40 centimeters. So we've got a side here that's 40 centimeters and an angle down here that's 45 degrees. From that we can figure out this side and we can figure out this side. Whatever this angle is, we can figure out these two sides. So now we know, it's going to get a little messy here, um, we're trying to find delta S. Okay, well, I'm going to let it get messy. Right here is another right triangle, okay, with your delta S is hypotenuse. Now, from solving this triangle, we'll know this side, which means we'll know this side of this triangle. Okay, then the only question is, how do we figure out this side? Okay, well, we know this distance is equal to the length of this side here, of this triangle. Okay, now how can we use this distance to figure out this distance? I'm going to leave, leave that to, uh, for you to figure out. But once we've got this distance and this distance, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this displacement, right? And having found this displacement, we can use the component of gravity in that direction, which we calculate because we, can, we, we will know this angle, okay? Uh, and then we can multiply that by the magnitude of the displacement and get our work. Okay, now there are a number of questions in the uh, sheet that I handed out today. Um, that are related to this, okay? But it's all very simple, right angle trigonometry and very basic geometry, basic high school geometry, um, and we can solve this.